incredible moment in Flint, Michigan earlier today. Joining us now is the mayor of Flint, Karen Weaver. Uh, mayor Weaver, it's really nice to see you. Thank you so much for being with us tonight. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. So you've got a, you're getting a new burst of national attention in Flint for a few different reasons. Number one is <laughs> this federal lawsuit that's going on right now. People testifying from Flint today in federal court. Um, we've got the Senate bill, which hopefully will become yes. the House bill if the Senate passes this thing. On top of that, you had this visit from a presidential candidate today um, that it seems like you were a little bit blindsided by. Am I right in thinking that you didn't know that this Trump visit was on its way? That's exactly right. We were blindsided. We got the information I found out actually yesterday is when I was mm. informed that he would be coming to the city of Flint and wanted to do different uh drive-bys to see what was going on in different locations and so that's that's what we were talking about we were just saying it was a little inconvenient uh not to be notified earlier about what he wanted to do and and kind of thoughtless in terms of um i guess the utility of national attention you have talked mm -hmm. in the past about you know the spotlight being helpful and it being something that does get things moving in flint how, how are you feeling right now about the prospects of national assistance, federal assistance? Obviously, it's moving right now in the Senate. It's not a done deal, but it's been moving. The, the House is something that seems like much more of an unknown quantity in terms of getting that right. federal help. Right, but we're very, you know, today was a really good day. Mm. And it's something we've been waiting for for a long time, but we are making steps in the right direction. It was nice to come and meet with the Michigan delegation. They've been working tirelessly to get things moving for the city of Flint. And uh, we see that it's happening in the Senate. And so really what we need to have happen now is for things to move in Congress. That's what we need. We need that federal assistance. It means a lot to the people of the city of Flint when you look at what, what's in there for infrastructure, when you look at what's in there for health care and, and for loan forgiveness. That's really, really vital to what we need in the city of Flint. Congressman Kildee um, made an interesting comment to the Free Press. He said mm -hmm. on the occasion of this photo off of, of if Donald Trump wants to wants to help with Flint, what he should do is one simple thing that's very doable. He should call Paul Ryan and tell that, Paul Ryan that Paul right. Ryan should help Flint. You agree with that? That's absolutely right, and that's what we were talking about. You know, help us that way. If you want to help Flint, if you care and you're concerned about the citizens of Flint, then talk to your Republican colleagues in the House and, and get this passed there. That's what we need to have happen. I have a feeling, actually, that that advice not, might not only apply to, to Donald Trump, that uh, Paul Ryan may, may need to hear from a lot of people uh, on this. Mayor Karen Weaver of Flint, Michigan, I really appreciate uh, your time tonight. Continued good luck to you, ma'am. It's nice to see you. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, we'll be right back. Stay with us.